let's get straight to it. Let's go to Josh. He's an Arsenal fan. All right, George. All right, Joshua. Hi, how are you doing, boys? Oh, Josh, how are you feeling? Night, mate. Josh, how are you feeling? Uh, Bad not, week. Not, not, not good. Not good. Not good at all. Um, I've been I've been saying this since last season. I'm saying it again. Our test is a fraud. God, that's a bit harsh, mate. Oh, my word. No, First no. call. No, no, no. He's been there, what, four or five years now. He's not won a single thing. We, we're we're playing the Champions League, Champions League quarterfinal against Bayern Munich, who are not at their top form at the moment whatsoever. 15 yeah. points behind by Leverkusen. And it's just, he's bringing on Eddie and Ketia. Like, these are the kind of things we need to look at pre, like before the season even started. We've got Saka's not, Saka's not playing well at all. He hasn't no, been good for the past again, month it? and a half. Yeah, he's way off it. And it's, I'm just like thinking that like, our test needs to get his, get his head out and just like actually think about what he's going to do with the team. You wouldn't want him out though, would you? No, I do actually. You want him sacked? I don't, I don't know who he'd bring in, but like I want him gone. Ch- I, Josh, I just, look. I just, like, He's been there, what? Yeah, as I said, four five or five years, years, five now. years now, right? He won an FA Cup during, during COVID times, and that's about it. He hasn't so, really... so do you, so I'm sorry, right? As much as we like to have a bit of fun with this, I cannot believe that's your first, your knee-jerk reaction to go for that, right? Clearly, tonight was a disappointing performance. They were over two legs. I had you all ends up to beat Bayern. I honestly did. I felt that, they, that I've seen Bayern, that you were too good for them, and you are a better side than them. And tonight, there were some frailties. Bayern got it tactically right. Tonight, you know, they sat and they made sure they frustrated. Arsenal weren't good enough. No, they weren't. You got it tactically wrong. Got it tactically wrong. I have that, to say, to go after Teto. Yeah, he got no, it wrong. No, no, no. He did. He did. He did. He I, got, I it got it wrong. I think he got it wrong. Like, how is Havertz playing 90 minutes there? The guy barely touched the ball. I think you got to give by. And by the way, Eric Dyer, how good was he tonight? Yeah, man of oh. the match. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, know. I know. Spurs in Arsenal's like head, rent free. They don't, they don't even play for Spurs anymore. Harry Kane and Eric Dyer are the best players on the pitch. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Who would have said that at the beginning of the yeah, season? Yeah, but <laughs> the thing is, they may have won tonight, but they won't be winning anything come the end of the season. Oh, they're in the shell. They're they're the semis. Yeah, but they're through, though, they're Josh. They're through. Academy. But they're through, and you're out. They're, they're, yeah, yeah, they're through, and we're out. But they'll lose to Real Madrid in the next round. <laughs> <laughs> the bitterness right the bitterness there. bitterness there. Josh, thanks for your call, mate. Thanks for your call. Uh, let's go to Dan, who's a Man City fan. Dan. Danny boy. Well, Dan- I can hear me. Oh, Danny boy. Danny, Danny, Danny. Did not I see that. I, I tell you what, I, I like the intro, but I don't like it when it's against us, unfortunately. There's a couple of things couple of things I just wanted to point out tonight. Um, I think if we took our chances, uh, KDB and Allen, we probably would have won that. But the kind of thing overall is that it's kind of been the same all season where the fluidity is just lacking a bit. Um, you know, we got, rid of, we got rid of Gundogan and Mahrez replaced them with some I mean they're pretty decent players but it's just that that kind of knack of trying to you know build the, the build up play where players know where they run into and all that sort of stuff it's just been the same all season where it's just not as fluid as, fluid as, as we should be really especially against a team like that uh, yeah, look I have to say tonight Pep again I know Harlan wasn't having the best of games but take him off take the Bruyner off the game was looking like it was going to penalties. You take two of your best penalty takers off. Your fifth best penalty takers, the keeper. He's scratching around for penalty takers, isn't he? That's what's happening. Like, he got it. He's got it wrong. He leaving Kovacic on to take a pen. Yeah, the last thing we wanted is to go to penalties, and that was my heart was in my mouth. Take Harlan and De Bruyne are off. I suppose. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, you take them off, but. The thing is, uh, there was part of that game where De Bruyne was holding his hamstring uh, near the end of the second half, I would say. Um, again, with with Haaland, it's one of them where they were defensively so good that it needs somebody like Alvarez to come in and try and break the line and try and run between the defenders. You know, how many chances can you try and get to Haaland where it's either been pumped, punted up in the air? Or especially that one where he should have really tapped it in. But, you know, it's gone straight over the bar. I, I, I think, we, look, we look talking at the English side, but... Real Madrid tonight, yeah, they, they were camped in. But you've got to hand it to Ancelotti, mate. To what he did there today. He went there, Carlo, they had their mate. pants pulled down last year. They weren't, That weren't going to happen again tonight. And he made sure it didn't. They had chances, City. Couldn't quite break through enough. I mean, De Bruyne's got a chance there with Madrid his... Madrid was got dead sc- on their feet, mate, though, they, mate. They, they were. were. Man but, City should have... Put, extra they time, should have won that game. But extra time... It's a bad I, result. I felt City extra time took their foot... Off. They obviously... Look, they, they played 90 minutes. There's a, clearly an environment in there where it can sap your energy. So in the extra time, I don't really... Man City did do it, create a huge amount. No. No, they were dead on the feet. But, you know... So Real, Real Madrid. Yeah, but Real Madrid were they camped got, in. They got no out, mate, and they Real Madrid. Yeah. Uh, Dan, thanks for your call, mate. Let's go to Alfie, who's an Arsenal fan. Alfie. 
And I'm eight. All right. Alf. All right, Alf. 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 It's not... What's no. happened? Did not see but, this. I'm not. I'm not coming on here about Arteta because obviously, with you know what he's done to Arsenal in terms of like fans filling the stadium, etc., getting us playing progressive. I'm not saying about getting him out, but when it comes to in terms of big important games, League Cup, FA Cup, Champions League, we don't deliver. And I'm not saying it's in terms of Arteta, but the players, we just don't deliver. Like you know, you look at Liverpool, you know. FA Cup, what you know, West Ham. I was at the West Ham game with the League Cup, EFL. We lost three one, and even this. And I think to myself, right, it's two all. We actually got lucky in the first round as well. You know, in terms of how we played. You know, Trossard comes on, scores that equaliser. But I just think, where is the heart in the team? You know, where's that leadership? Even Declan Rice, we're, we're all leading on. Oh, we've got Declan Rice this year. We're going to win everything. Yeah, he wasn't well, great not. either tonight, was he, but Declan? You yeah. haven't. You, yeah. And you're bringing where's Partey? You know, take Georgina from the party and I, I don't understand where... I don't know. The, yeah, but you know what, though, Alf, right? And look, I'm never one to... You know, it's easy for me to jump on the bandwagon of digging out Arsenal. Gone to the Allianz Arena, mate. You messed it home at home. Well, that's... Yeah. Do you know what it is? Saka must be looking at his decision to go yeah. down looking for a penalty in the box. Yeah, yeah. So stay on his feet now. He must be thinking, and next I time, stay on my feet. Saka was poor tonight. He, was, he didn't have a good that. game. And I think we lean so much on them and them too, and, and, and miss focus on that middle. And, and I think we overplay it sometimes. Have a shot. Have a shot. Can't we overplay you. it sometimes. Even Erdogan garden stuff. You know, we overplay it so much at times. And I'm not criticising. I said I don't want him out. I'm just saying that times you just need someone that thinks. You know, let, I'm going to take ownership of this and I'm going to drive us forward. You know, look at Bellingham and players like that that kind of step up. You know, he was absolutely spent Benningham throughout that round with your game but he was still the one that was dragging him up he was throwing his arm up push up push up and we haven't got one person that kind of kind of steps up and goes lads we've got 10 minutes we need to come up do you know what that home leg now when you think about over, over the two legs oh, yeah. now that home leg that yeah. was, that's really where you can look back yeah. and say where did Arsenal really go out in this competition yeah, yeah, yeah. you know to draw two to you one nil up and cruising one nil up I think Arsenal fans are so deluded at the fact that it was that home league, and and really we were lucky to get through that. And and I think to myself, we go to to their own ground and think, you know, we've got we've got ninety minutes. Go mm. out there and put everything on the line. Yeah, you know, yeah. go out, and not not come off that pitch without a breath. You know, when they, yeah, so they I played the best I've played. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Alf, top man, mate, brilliant call. Well, let's go to Damien. He's an Arsenal fan. Damien, right, Damo. Hello, mate. How are you? Oh, right, how are you feeling, mate? How are you feeling? I'm not disappointed to be fair, Jay. Go on, disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame no, you. No, but I'm not unhappy if that makes sense. What do you mean? Listen, we've got, we've got, well, for the last 12 years, we've done nothing. How long has it been for Tottenham? I was about to say something else, Keith, but we're, we're moving forward, no? We're pushing on. We're in the quarterfinals against, last time we played Munich, it was like 8-2, I believe. So, Let's be honest, there's a way forward and there's a way. And Arteta, anyone that says they've got to get rid of Arteta, it's an absolute joker. Because look what he's done for the team. Mm. Look what he's done for the team. I club. know, but you, I mean, when, you, when it comes. He's moving forward. Yeah, no, he is moving you forward. I, I, I totally agree with you, Dane, but we're talking about tonight and over the last two legs and, of course, what happened no, against I Villa. I agree with that. I'm very, very frustrated about that, to be fair. Very angry about it. Mm. We should have done more with that, but. It's experience, no? It's the yeah. first year for a very, very long time we've been back in this. Know, but so, the but, but Damo, Damo, right? Yeah, I, no, I agree. But you're up against the Real It's the worst Real Madrid, um, Bayern Munich side in 10 years. You don't even know what your team you're talking ten, about, Cundy. 10 Can't years. It's the, worst, it's the worst Bayern Munich side in 10 well, years. This is the worst and, and you, they haven't won it. And you, and you come up short. Unfortunately... Oh, how about talk about Bayern Leverkusen and say... Actually, what do you mean by Leverkusen? We're talking about them situations for situations in the Bundesliga. What are you talking about them for? Have never been tested. Well, tonight, and I look, agree. You... Listen, I'll agree with you for once in my life that we've been beaten again by Bayern Munich. But last time we got really battered by Bayern Munich. This time we've lost the game. We didn't get battered. We've lost the game. They're a European giant. Yeah. And I think it's I think it's progress to be fair. Dave, you've got to be feeling it though, mate. Come on, you've got to be. You've got to be. You've got to be. 
You, you're the world's worst. But you got to be feeling horrible right now, mate. Come on. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. He admitted that. He is feeling I'm horrible. not feeling horrible. No, he is. You are. But I'm feeling... How are you feeling? No, I'm on top of the world. I'm buzzing. I'm going to go. Great honestly, night. Honestly, Unbelievable. Honestly, when oh, that... Well, useless. Best we... night on a sports bar in a long time. You want to see the celebrations when you went 1-0 down in there, Damo, in the green room. No, Honestly. I've got no doubt about Jay- it. Got no doubt. Jamie was sliding on his no knees. <laughs> but all I'm saying is we're, we're pushing forward. Yeah, yeah, well. And they're not doing. Yeah, you're, pu- mm. you're pushing forward, but unfortunately, can't quite push forward far enough, can you? But that's fine. It's you know? another year. Next Keep... year will be another year. Yeah. <laughs> you the Champions League next year. No, we, no. When we, when we go yeah, in it... Yeah, sorry. Just, just let me ask this. Uh, either of you in the Champions Damo, League. Damo, Damo, when we go in it, mate, we win it. Mm. Chelsea. <laughs> Did he but, say anything about By that? the way, I know what it feels like to go to the Alliance and win. You oh, don't. Of course you don't. You don't. Of course you don't. <laughs> How did Jamie feel about that? Uh, listen, uh, Arsenal are out, mate. I'm happy. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.